Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. We've got a Jamboree searcher in the driveway looking to get some work done. Uh, these are the kind of projects I just love. Uh, this guy is going full time and looking to live his best life and we are lucky enough to get to help. That's the way I look at it. Uh, we're gonna be putting 800 watts of solar up there with uh, the idea to also let him use his some Jackery panels down below. So we're gonna have two solar chargers. Then uh, we're gonna be installing a Starlink, which has definitely been something we've been doing more of lately. And uh, well, I hate to say it, but we've already been working on this for almost a day. And let me show you what we got going on. Oh yeah, um, 400 amp hours of battery and uh, all kinds of stuff. So, um, yeah, we're kind of in the thick of it here. So what I end up doing is pretty much, I like to dig into everything, see what I can find for my pathways for everything. I think we're gonna be coming down the fridge vent for the solar. And then I gotta figure out where we're getting down here because we do want to keep this still sealed because this is an ammonia fridge, at least I believe. Uh, they use these burners to keep things cool. How does it work? I don't know. Magic, I guess. Personally, I'd rather have a 120 volt residential fridge, but that's just me. Uh, let's see what we got going on in the storage bay. This is kind of where we've determined it best to install everything. And uh, here's our board that we got going. Forgive me, it's kind of dark in here. Got the 2000 Multi Plus. I uh, got the links there. We got two blue solar chargers. And one for the 800 on top, and we just did another matching one, so we had plenty of room for expansion on the bottom. And we're just gonna, we got the, already the mains hooked up. Got a fuse there. Hey, there's Maya. How are you doing, big girl? Mm, she still misses the coconut. We all do, don't we? We all do. <sighs> and uh, the other thing, we are adding a LED strip in here and a little bit different. I'm gonna be talking about that. Uh, we're doing a motion sensing one, so it's not on all the time. Typically, we just do a USB one and pull off of the USB on the servo, but uh, we're trying to step it up a little bit. I like to say every install we do is the best one we've ever done, and I would say this one is gonna be no exception. So, uh, plenty of storage in this. Look at this, this is all passed through. That's completely passed through down there. This is, you can see, we got some orange wire here. That, yep, this is a 30 amp, no problem. And this guy, he did not want to run his generator, or sorry, he did not want to run his air conditioner. He's got a generator, so this is gonna work just fine. Run Starlink, uh, microwave, whatever else you need, just not your air conditioner. Uh, oh, let's see what we got going on inside. We got, uh, oh, we've already been in here, took those batteries out. Then what we end up doing is just going off of uh, one of the ports on the Lynx distributor there, just running along here, and uh, then connecting to the mains down there. Easy peasy. Oof. Then for the, the touch display, we're gonna end up putting it here, but we had to get a little invasive here, more so than I typically like, yes. I'm sorry, girl. All right, she's Mrs. Coco, but she also wants a treat. It's getting a little dark in here, but I'll try and show you anyway. So I popped the, carefully, very carefully, came in here and popped the uh, nails out of here. And I'll just reattach it with some nails, use some brown crayon or brown wax to fill the little holes. But uh, this is gonna let us run the, the Serbo HDMI and USB cable down through here, and then we'll be able to go under the fridge, right back to there where we need to get to. Yeah, the reason why we had to pull this out was because this, this support right here is all the way through. I can't get a fish tape through it. So I'm gonna have to drill that. Other than that, I wouldn't have had to pull this out. I just didn't see any other way to do it. Otherwise it'd have to be down there and we wanted it up higher because this gentleman's a little bit like me, a little bit taller. Uh, what else? So this is a really cool rig, by the way. Uh, it's got this back lounge, kind of like the Millennium Falcon in a way. Uh, I got some Starlink hardware there. 
Here's where we're coming down for the Starlink. We're actually coming right down through the vent. It's a little dark in here, but I had to, uh, that's where I made a hole into the vent and we'll seal that up real good. And then we're just coming right over here, put all the hardware there and there's already an outlet there. So that's nice and easy. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is a little tricky about this. You know, as always, covers open. I just, I like to open everything up, see what I got to work with. Um, yeah. So I would say in short order, we'll have this taken care of and on to the next one, but stick around while we figure out this one. Wait, here's the uh, Jackery panels this guy has. Um, he's got two of these, got them as a gift, I guess, for Christmas. And so we got uh, MC4 to Jackery connectors. So he can set these out in the desert and be collecting plenty of power that way as well. Uh, before I call our quits for tonight, let's take a look up on top. Oh, if I haven't said it already, this new scaffold with the stairs, loving it. And uh, we do some, we, we protect the sides. Got some foam here. I've got uh, foam noodle on this side as well. Care of our customers, RVs is always important. So here's the Starlink cord coming down. Uh, we've got enough, we'll probably have to route that around there. My, my oldest son was actually helping me a little bit. I haven't been up here since then. Uh, so we got one panel there. Uh, another panel there, another panel there, and probably do one more right here, and that's gonna make 400, you know, 200 watts each times four. That's 800 watts, that's how we get there. Could maybe do some 50s right there if you really wanted to, but I think that's about it. I don't see room for much more else. You could probably do a 50 on top of the air conditioner as well. So maybe another 100 watts on this Jamboree, but Ooh, I don't see you putting much more up here. Oh, look at all that solar there. Maybe we can figure out a way to cram some more on there. What do you think? I know you guys don't tune in to see me all that much, but I figured uh, to say, hey, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate uh, you continuing to comment and all that kind of stuff. Uh, love to hear from you. Um, yeah, that's enough of that. Uh, I'm gonna work on a couple more things and get back at this in the morning and i don't want to say it will be done tomorrow but it might be who knows oh uh where's jd he's selling his house right now we've got some big announcements i don't know about big announcements we got things to talk about sometime i think i'll probably be doing some sort of uh state of the state of the company chat maybe um so i'll be looking for that kind of video if you're into that and you want to see what does the future for soda solar hold because i'm not really sure but we're certainly not slowing down so all right well we're wrapping up today uh been a couple of days long days hard work we got uh, 800 watts of solar on here a uh, bunch of a uh, bunch of other stuff 400 amp hours of battery multi plus 2000 let's go uh take a look at it and see how it all came out in this jamboree searcher known as forest so let's go take a look up on top got one panel there one panel there one panel there one panel there those are in two series 2p and uh, that's going down the fridge vent and then uh starlink goes down the gray tank vent easy enough doesn't have to be more complicated than that all right let's go take a look around uh where we ended up installing everything there's a ton of room all over in here but we ended up well I think we showed this earlier we ended up putting it all in here this came out pretty well we got uh, breakers here for the roof and the ground mount this is the ground mount ports I gave them and you just plug right into that uh, with the ground panels and both charge controllers and then the LED lights there that are motion controlled. So that's a nice little addition before, whenever we do the lights in there, they would be on all the time. Then inside here, got the uh, 
servo display going. So as far as routing goes, we had a nice clean path from here all the way into there. And then uh, this customer also had a nature's head composting and toilet installed. So we ran a 12 volt line all the way around. Uh, yeah, all the way around there to the uh, toilet here. And that ended up just coming out right out the, uh, the old water feed line. And then uh, yeah, here's Starlink installed. So got power, no matter, or no power. They got internet wherever they are. So that's the long and the short of it there. So that's everything. Uh, we had a lot of fun working on this. Got our customer here. He's patiently uh, waiting for me to be done so he can take it home and head on, on an adventure. Thank you, Sean, for making my dream come true for over three years, man. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. When we're done here with this video, we'll go over all the systems of how to work the, uh, the Victron equipment. But it's pretty common. There's questions uh, after the fact, and then uh, we'll, I'd be more than happy to refresh you if something goes wrong or whatever. So from all of us, actually, Levi helped out a lot on this one, my, my oldest son. Uh, JD is going to be back in action soon, but uh, from all of us here at Soda Solar, uh, check out our website and like, comment, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks.